Hello everyone, and welcome to this introduction about Historiana and its e-environment, particularly the e-builder. This video is created to introduce or remind you how to use the e-activity builder that is available on Historiana. This is Historiana's homepage. Historiana is Euroclio, European Association of History Educators, online portal to the past. It has been created as an alternative to European textbooks and is constantly updated with material contributed by over 300 history educators from more than 30 countries around the world. To begin this demonstration, I will show you how to create an account on Historiana. This is needed to access the editing features of Historiana, such as saving sources and e-learning activities. To register an account, you can simply click on Register. Enter your email and choose a password. Simply click Register and there you have it. In the upper left section, you can find the Historical Content tab. The content is divided into four categories, Source Collections, Key Moments, Units and Viewpoints. Source Collections are presentations about one topic. Key moments are about one major historical event. And units are larger collections of sources about one topic. Finally, viewpoints are collections of opinions from different people about a certain topic. Once you become familiar with the platform, the different categories will become more intuitive, so feel free to have a look for yourself. In the source collection category, Click any source collection that you are interested in. Using this plus button, you can add any sources to My Historiana. You can find it later by clicking on My Sources in My Historiana. The next tab we will look at is the Teaching and Learning section. There, one can find learning activities about various topics to reproduce in the classroom, and also e-learning activities which must be done on the platform. In this video, we are more interested in the e-learning activities, how to build them, and why. Before getting into the specifics of how to create an e-learning activity on Historiana, I will first show you a couple of examples. the teaching and learning tab or from within the e-learning activity itself, you can add to My Historiana. You'll find them under My e-learning activities. Edit will open the e-learning activity into the e-activity builder, a useful and intuitive tool for educators to create e-learning activities. This tool is what we'll get into next. Eight tools available on the e-builder. The text tool, the question tool, the embed tool, the sorting tool, the analyzing tool, the highlighting tool, the comparing tool, and the discovering tool. These tools have been created with historical, critical thinking in mind and serve different purposes. These tools can be dragged and added to the activity and moved around in order of choice. 
It is possible to add one at a time and start working on it and add as you go. To edit a tool, one simply clicks on the pen to fill in information. You can exit the tool by clicking on Edit in Builder. You can delete the tool by clicking on the little bin at the bottom. Finally, the eBuilder lets you see what the student sees by clicking on the toggle icon View as Student. Let's now get into the specifics of each tool. There are two sorts of tools in Historiana. The content tools that allow you to present information to students and the interactive tools which are made for students to engage with the sources. First, I will show you the content tools. The text tool allows you to write text that does not require student actions. This is typically used as an introductory tool to explain what the aims of the activity are and or to provide some more background information. The question tool allows you to ask a question with your student with the possibility for the student to answer directly in the tool. The embed tool allows you to include a video, newspaper article or any other link coming from the internet into your e-learning activity. If you want to include a YouTube video, please follow the steps as indicated. For any other sources, you can use the box at the bottom. Let's see what it looks like for a YouTube video. You will need to open YouTube and click on Share. Then the first icon is Embed, or Intégré in French. You can then copy this code and paste it back into the box. Let's see how it looks at student view. There you go. Now let's see what you need to do for any other source. For this Wikipedia article, for instance, we simply copy the URL, paste it into the box at the bottom, and check in student view. I will now move on to the interactive tools. The sorting tool is a tool that has been created to help students categorize sources according to different criteria set by the teacher. One can sort chronologically, by theme, or into groups. To begin, one needs to start by adding sources to the tool. These can be uploaded from your computer or come from My Historiana. These are the sources we added earlier from the source collection. I went ahead and added these four extra ones for the purpose of this exercise. Here is where you can click to upload sources from your computer. Then you may pick a background, either provided by Historiana or your own. Different backgrounds have different aims for the activity. The right-left options can help students fit sources into two categories. The circles can help sort the sources by relevance to a topic. The four lines can be used as a timeline, sequence of events, etc. There are some tips next to each background. With your own background, the possibilities are endless. You have the possibility to add instructions so that students know what is expected of them in the exercise. 
The Add Source button allows you to add more sources to the tool. You also have the possibility to add labels to make the exercise clearer. These will also appear in the student view. You can edit the sources by clicking on them. There, you can zoom in with the bottom left button, delete with the bottom middle button, and add or modify or delete the text with the bottom right. Now please note, if you are using sources from Historiana, the text available on the website is automatically added to the source. If they are your own, no text will be available. The analyzing tool was created to analyze one source in detail using annotation. You can use it to have students suggest the time period at which the source was created, to practice really close observation, or to make connections between parts of a source and knowledge. To use the tool, one needs to start by adding one source to the tool. The bottom icons work the same as the sorting tool, zoom, delete, add information. You also have the option to add instructions, which works the same as the sorting tool. As an educator, you can add annotations yourself to guide students. You can add text to your annotation and change the color if you need several categories. These will show on the student view. If you click on the selections, you have the possibility to adjust their size and move them. This is also the case for students. The highlighting tool was created with text sources in mind for students to be able to interact with the text directly. You can upload a text PDF and the text will be automatically transcribed to the tool. You can upload the image of a text and type it out yourself, or you can upload an image to illustrate the text that you will type out yourself. This tool can be used to do close analysis of a source, or to work with literacy, or to explain parts of the text with knowledge. To use the tool, one should add one or more sources. In this case, I've added a PDF. Now the bottom icons work the same, zoom, delete and add information. The toggle button on the top right shows you what the text looks like to students. You have the possibility to add instructions and more sources. And you have the possibility to add a built-in dictionary for works that you think your students may not know. These words will show up in pink on the student view. The student is able to highlight certain parts of the text in various colors according to the teacher's instructions and to add annotations to their highlights. The Compare tool was created with the aim of comparing sources. It works the same as the Analyzing tool, but for more than two sources. It can be used to compare and contrast sources. To use the tool, one starts by adding two or more sources. 
the bottom icons work the same to zoom, delete and add information. And you have the possibility to add instructions and more sources. Finally, the Discovering tool was created for students to learn more about sources and the principle of causation. They can discover sources in an order defined by the teachers by simply clicking on the sources. This can be used to show complexity about causation, to show how causes connect, or to connect causes to previous learning. To use the tool, one has to add sources, and more than two is recommended. You have the possibility to add instructions and more sources. By clicking on an image, you can link it to another via a connection. The order in which you create the connection will be the order in which the students will discover them. By double-clicking on an image, you can modify the information, delete it or zoom in. By clicking on a connection, you can add a title, change their colors, or reverse the direction of the arrow. Finally, the bottom icons help you to zoom in or out and center the work. Here is what it looks like from a student's perspective. And here we go, you've done it. You can give your activity a name, a description, and an image for you and your students to know in a nutshell what the activity is about. Of course, you should also save your activity when you're done editing it. From this page, you can also delete it and create a new one directly from the eBuilder. Once you have saved your activity, you can find it back easily under My Historiana and My eLearning Activities. Under this section, you can also delete, edit or share your activity. The sharing feature is important. It allows you to share your work either with your students or with others. To share with students, you can click this button and obtain a unique link to send to your students' email addresses. If you share with others, such as your colleagues, they will be able to add the activity to their own Historiana, edit it and benefit from your work. Now don't forget that Historiana already comes with many pre-made activities that you can find in the teaching and learning section. This may be a good way to start using this feature. You can always edit them to suit your objectives. This concludes this little introduction to Historiana's eBuilder and system of e-learning activities. We hope that you found it interesting and that it inspired you to start using Historiana in your classrooms. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send a message to lorraine at euroclio.eu. We will be happy to address them. Thank you and goodbye.